Greetings everyone, how are you all doing today? I truly hope that you're all having a wonderfully blessed day. So many of you are asking, why are millions of Americans still waiting to receive their $1,400 stimulus payment? According to CNN, there are millions of people that are eligible to receive a third stimulus payment, but still haven't received it. It is definitely concerning to see so many of you still waiting for your stimulus check to arrive. That is why I continue to bring you updates several times a day. I will always be here to help guide you through all of this. The winner of this week's $50 Amazon gift card giveaway is Hadassah Prosser. Next Friday, I will be giving away another $50 Amazon gift card. To enter the giveaway, all you'll need to do is subscribe to my channel, share this video, and comment below. Thank you very much. So there was a large amount of Americans that didn't have their stimulus payments directly deposited into their bank accounts or sent in the mail without them having to take any action. Now the majority of you should not need to take any further action to receive a third stimulus payment. So everyone, please make sure that the IRS has the correct banking information on file. The IRS will have the current bank details from most people who have submitted a 2019 or 2020 tax return or from those who entered their bank details on their non-filer registration in 2020. I have been getting some comments where they found out that the IRS does not have the correct banking information for them. According to a new note posted on the IRS's Get My Payment frequently asked question page, the bank account information a person has on file with the IRS cannot be changed at this time. Their Internal Revenue Service says that if it sends your third stimulus check to the bank account it has on file for you and that the account has been closed or the bank account details are invalid, the bank will automatically return the funds to the IRS. Then the agency would have to send you a physical check at the address they have on file for you. That means you'll still get your stimulus check, but it could be delayed weeks or even months as the IRS needs to get the money back from the bank first. And then the US Postal Service has to get the stimulus check to you. So it is possible that some of you don't have the correct banking information on file with the IRS and are now going to get a check in the mail. Some of you may receive the message, payment status not available when checking the IRS site. If you get this message, either we have not processed your payment or you are not eligible for a payment, the IRS said. If this message is appearing, please make sure you meet the requirements for the money. You must have a social security number that is valid for employment and are a U.S. citizen or a U.S. resident alien. Some of you may have also moved and that is why your stimulus check is still being delayed. The process to claim any missing stimulus money is tied up with your tax return. If you get a tax refund this year and you don't sign up for a direct deposit, you'll receive your funds as a paper check from the U.S. Treasury. You need to make sure that your check doesn't go to an old address. Even if you have a direct deposit account on file with the government, it is possible you may receive your third stimulus check as a paper check or as an EIP card. People have reported receiving the first payment through direct deposit and the second as an EIP card. Once the IRS processes your payment, the final say is in how you receive the money is up to the IRS and U.S. Treasury. Now you want to make sure you get the letter from the IRS verifying when it sent your payment. This is very important for anyone who may be eligible for a stimulus check but is experiencing an unexpected holdup receiving their stimulus money. The IRS notice will be your ticket to settling any errors or submitting a claim for missing money if you don't end up receiving your stimulus payment at all. I do have some wonderful news everyone. Senators are still urging President Joe Biden to pass recurring direct payments and automatic unemployment insurance extensions tied to the economic conditions. Many lawmakers have sent multiple letters to President Biden in support of monthly stimulus checks for Americans. Do you all think that the American people should receive a stimulus check every month until the crisis is completely over? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. An earlier letter to President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris from 53 representatives said, Recurring direct payments until the economy recovers will help ensure that people can meet their basic needs, provide equitable solutions, and shorten the length of the recession. A fourth round of stimulus checks is definitely coming, everyone, which is wonderful news. All right. Thanks a lot, Jen, and uh, uh, thanks, everyone. It's a real honor to be here, especially at such an important and exciting moment for the country. 
I'm convinced that this is the best chance in our lifetimes to make a generational investment in infrastructure, and that's what the American Jobs Plan does. The need is clear. It's growing by the day. After decades of underinvestment, we have fallen to 13th place globally in infrastructure. Delays caused by traffic congestion alone cost over $160 billion per year, and motorists are forced to pay over $1,000 every year in wasted time and fuel. Americans are spending too much of their money on transportation in the wrong ways, or don't have access to it at all. And the American people are making clear to all of us, regardless of party, that they want us to get it done. And they are not asking us to tinker around the edges. We've risen to this challenge before as a country. In fact, building bold infrastructure has always been central to America's story. We built the Erie Canal. We connected east to west through the Transcontinental Railroad. And we developed the interstate highway system. And each of those projects was audacious, was transformative, and partly because it challenged the uh, uh, American people to expand our concept of infrastructure. But in doing so, these projects transformed our nation for the better, and they fueled the U.S. economy and way of life for the long run. So now it's our turn. The American Jobs Plan will again transform America's roads and bridges, rail and transit, ports and airports for the better. It's going to help modernize our transportation infrastructure so we can compete in the 21st century and connect communities. It will create millions of good jobs in communities across the country. I want to point out again that this is the biggest investment in American jobs since World War II. But I think it's important to demystify the kinds of jobs that this plan is going to create. These are good jobs. They are not mysterious or overly futuristic or inaccessible. Uh, we are going to need workers who are good with steel to make the cars and trucks of the future. Uh, we're talking about building retrofits that are going to require union carpenters and insulators, painters and, and glaziers. We're going to need electrical workers more than ever. Uh, we're not going to be able to build the roads we need to build without construction workers, laborers, uh, operating engineers. Plumbers and pipe fitters are going to be a huge part of the story of how we overhaul those lead service lines. So this is a jobs plan that is building America's economy from the middle class out, coming at just the right time. It's meeting the challenges that we face today, and it is fully paid for by making corporations to pay their fair share. We think it's unacceptable that there are major profitable corporations in this country paying less in taxes than a teacher or a firefighter, not in terms of a percentage, uh, but in terms of dollars, uh, specifically in many cases uh, paying zero. And there's been a lot of talk uh, at this moment, as you know, about what infrastructure is and isn't. I would argue that infrastructure is the foundation that makes it possible for people to live and work well. And you can't live or work or thrive without things like roads, clean water, electricity, broadband. Yes, that's infrastructure. Uh, and investing in a full vision of infrastructure is how we build a safer and more prosperous America. And ultimately, uh, I believe, critical to the American dream. So that's why I'm thrilled to be in this role, delighted by the American Jobs Plan announcement and spending time every day speaking to stakeholders about how to make sure we get it through. All right. Please leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. I'll do my very best to answer any questions that you may have. But that is the end of the video, everyone. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to enter the $50 Amazon gift card giveaway. All you'll need to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, share the video, and comment below. Thank you and have a very, very, very blessed day.